What's up guys, how you doing? Uh, Cosmic Arrow here, rolling out in my Object 705A Tier 10 Soviet Heavy Tank uh, One of my latest additions to my Tier 10 collection And um, what do I think of this tank? I love this tank um, I love it for its armor I don't love the gun The gun is a very uh, typical derpy heavy duty gun you know kicking out 750 alpha I have the 100 of course so there were no surprises when I started using this tank um, with the gun it either works or it doesn't work of course in this game it does work and uh, you either low roll or you high roll the accuracy sucks absolutely 100% but mostly it's all about the armor in this tank um, a fantastic amount of hit points you know you can combi combine those two factors and you get nine lives and then some it kind of extends your your lifetime in each and every battle and um, it's a severely OP machine in the right hands in the right situation um, there are two pieces of artillery in play with my gun depression uh, this tank is not going to work on the 9-0 line uh, hence I'm heading into town and uh, you're gonna see here a good example of the gun simply working because of Russian bias because of Russia I, I, whatever I have a clue it, it just in this game the gun just does work absolutely um, three TDs up ahead besides scraping this uh, T57 is gonna bite the dust in a second here and we're gonna get our second fantastic snapshot in just a second here. Death Star side scraping. He needs to be taken off the board. He can't pen me, but he can splash me. It just depends what kind of Death Star player he is. He is. I'm faking here, moving into the town. As you can see, I lose my sixth sense. Then I pull back, and before the Fosh knows it, I get a nice shot into his side without aiming. <laughs> beautiful my second snapshot of the day in a heavy duty tank with a big derpy gun and crappy accuracy and all of that jazz uh, yeah but like I said it's just uh, my third snapshot what am I talking about yeah like I said the Death Star needs to be taken off the board we, we're doing well here in the town as you can see we've overrun the town but the same thing is happening on the 9-0 line it's kind of equal uh, right now as you can see um, they've sorted out the flank on the 9-0 line we've sorted out the flank uh, in town so it's the game is up for grabs basically and I'm gonna do the right thing you see me doing the right thing uh, quite a bit in this game where you know like I, I headed in the sound because there's artillery because I'm a heavy and now there's there's a danger of our base being overrun so I'm gonna go back to protect it I'm not interested in going to the enemy cap and capping out absolutely I'm here to kill tanks not to cap bases I'm not interested in capping bases absolutely and now you're gonna see me put this tank to good work luckily for me Artie never really showed an interest in me I don't think Artie touches me once or attempts to shoot at me once you know so that there is a bit of luck there absolutely so um, yeah 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 I didn't aim in all the way but here where I am um, I've got I mean I, I'm in a bit of a dip here which kind of makes my armor severely OP I do fluff up that shot on the Jaeger group but there was nothing to Pen there. Oh, there's art artillery. My bad. Um, there was nothing to pen on the the Diego. I shouldn't have taken that shot. I don't even know why I, I took that shot. But e everything else that I shoot, at, I'm gonna pen. I'm gonna kill. Absolutely, 100%. Um, the fact that they're capping our base doesn't mean anything to me. And you're gonna see me just rolling back and forth, using you know. The terrain around me to my advantage not exposing my lower plate not exposing 
anything whatsoever. The fact that there's a super conch there, the fact that there's a Jaegeru there, does not phase me in the slightest. I'm not expecting to lose any hit points whatsoever. Um, the only thing, like I said, that, that can possibly touch me here is artillery. But like I said, um, they don't show that much of interest in me. Um, again, you know, there's nothing to shoot there on the Jaeger Super Conk. We're going to have to aim in all the way because he's a much smaller target and a far greater distance. And I do manage to set his engine on fire, bouncing like a boss. We're already up to 4.6k damage. I've bounced 2.3k. We spotted 1k, so it's a fantastic game so far, absolutely. And threading the needle, absolutely. There you go, take him off the board. It's a super cog. He needs to be taken off the board. The Jaegeru has been taken off the board as well. So a lot of heavy duty hitters on the red team have been wiped. Uh, which is fantastic, which is great, and you can see I, I still have all of my hit points intact. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the game. You know, if you know how to play the tank, it, it just gives you those extra nine lives, and you need those hit points at the end of the game, you know, for those engagements at the end of the game, because it's, uh, there's a lot of one on one brawling, so yeah, yeah beautiful machine we're firing heat so I track him as I'm pulling back you can see I'm swinging my turret to the left I was expecting the super conch that I uh, that I uh, set the engine on fire I was expecting him to shoot at me thus lighting himself up and I was going to return fire but he, he doesn't so <coughs> march on towards T57 I do have heat loaded. I understood this, you know, when I was coming up to the T57. Uh, I shouldn't really have heat loaded for him, you know, because most of you are going to bounce. Uh, but I, I was out in the open. I was thinking about artillery. Because right now, you know, it's 10 to 11. The game, the game is still up in the air. There you go. That's why I didn't need heat loaded. Well, I, sh I shouldn't have really order aimed. Absolutely. And this T57 is going to get taken out. Absolutely. And all that's left is two pieces of artillery, a machine, and a super conch. Uh, the machine is on eight kills. This I noticed this around this time. And this kind of didn't change things dramatically, but I understood what I was up against. You know, the, the game was not over not by a long shot because this guy he had eight kills you have to respect that you have to understand that there's a possibility that he might be just having a fantastic game because he he's in such an OP machine which the machine uh, is it's OP as hell but I was gonna go with he's a really decent player you know to have eight kills to have already a Radley Waters at this stage so I need to respect that plus I haven't seen him you know there here he is he pops up he's on 530 hit points at this stage I said thank god <laughs> you know he's a one shot to me easy peasy lemon squeezy but he, do he does have mobility on his side which I most definitely do not this this tank does hustle, it does move, but he ain't no machine, you know, the machine moves, it hustles, you know, by the time I get over to this hill, which is where I was hoping he would stay, he's long and gone, 100%. <clears throat> As you can see, our medium is about to take out artillery, and I was saying to myself, if he's not behind this hill, then he's going to be going for our medium tank because once the medium takes out artillery he's going to show up on the radar and the machine's going to be uh, gunning for him absolutely 100% so I haven't got a clue where he is scanning the area where is he P57 
people are, you know, dead tankers are saying over here, over there. He is going to pop up, like I said, in just a minute or so. There he is. <coughs> and yes, he's, he's about to engage the pattern. Uh, but keep in mind, he's only on 500 hit points. I think he plays it kind of cautiously, carefully. He, do he doesn't take him out straight away, or maybe he does. But... Um, but as you can see, our IS-7 is heading down the AB line to flank him from the north. And I'm signaling that I'm going to flank him from the opposite direction. A pincer move, you know, one from the, from his rear, one from in front of him. And we're going to take him out. We got this game in the bag, but there was a, a bit of a dilemma here because... Um, yeah, like I said, he was taking his sweet time, taking out the medium. I think he was, you know, being extra careful, extra cautious because he was only, he's a two shot for the medium, basically. But there was a dilemma that was kind of presented to me here, and I was wondering to myself, what should I do? Because the guy, when he takes out the medium, he's, he was going to be on nine kills. So, if he kills one more tank, i.e. the IS-7, he would have got a pause. And my dilemma was, should I allow this guy to take out my IS-7 and gift him a pause, you know, basically. If, if he has the ability to do so, and uh, this was all racing through my mind. At the same time, I was wondering, what is the IS-7 doing? Why is he, you know, capping the base? Is he kind of attempting to draw out the machine? Um, but there were like a million things running through my mind. At the end of the game, the, the, yes, I could have allowed him, gifted him the pulls, but um, you got to do what you got to do, you know, for the win. For your team you're there to win the battle and uh, these kind of situations rarely come up I literally gave him a buzz cut here you know it was um, I should have I replayed this uh, you know straight after the game and the shell literally went inches above <coughs> his turret literally inches and uh, yeah it, sh it should have been my you know final spectacular shot in this tank but it was not meant to be what can I say I, I just had to Russia was not on my side for that shot but yeah like I said this was I was toying with the idea should I allow him should I they're here to win the game just win the game and all of this jazz and there you go I got an affirmative from the i7 I've got a job to do and all of that jazz so some fantastic amazing shots there in the 705a some unbelievable shots because of russia what can i say and uh, we don't get the mastery we uh, <laughs> we don't get the mastery what can i say even though we we yeah we did some fantastic work there but it is what it is very happy very proud of this game beautiful tank Take it easy, guys. Adios, muchachos.